when they send get request, we need to see the list of the players that exist. Yes, we see them. When we send post request, we need to see the new one created. Yes. And when we send get request, we need to see in our list this new created one as well. Look at, yes, it is here. Put mapping, which will help us to update 98, for example. So when we put send put, yes, get mapping. We need to see this value and this first name. Yes, another player. Okay, okay. Now let's continue with patch mapping. Yes. As you see, it changed this first name, last name, Jazir, but kept the value. So value is not known. We can also try get and get first. So this is ID4. If you go to get again, we have, as you see, there is no ID4. I also have done the additional created update. For example, the first name is like play to give me first name must be info. I also have it in update part. If I do miss like this, I need to show validation error. Yes, unit testing, I uh, tested my service methods, but in integration design, I only test my controller. Methods. As you see, my testing passed. I used a lot of testings. For example, for safe player, for update, uh, I also mocked repositories. My integration tests also passed. So in integration test, I mainly uh, tested the control methods. For example, add player, get player. So now i want to uh, show you my loadings in before i have the method name as well as its input parameters like arguments uh, in after returning i have exiting method name and with the its results and in around uh, i have its method name as well then how much time meals to, to exit for example when i post a new Okay, it's created. So the method save has arguments and this like I do now, it's generated automatically. Then uh, the first name is clear, last name here is our parameters. As it's here, here are also exiting the save is the result clear ID4, which is generated automatically, new clear, the last name, and here. We also have the time uh, that took it to execute, which is 48 minutes. In player, I have ID for the most initiative for I script that modified that. But in player DQ, I have first name, last name, and nationality, and value. Uh, here, instead of price, I used value. Then I also perform validation here. As you see, not no and size I gave them for first name, last name, and nationality. And also, I have generated ID value, which is automatically generated. So for mapping, I am, uh, I have mapper. So here I use auto mapping, map struct, where I have player to player DQ, as well as player DQ to player. I have also player list to player DQ list. Here I have mapping is for update. Patch mapping is for partial update. Then post mapping is for adding, saving, like creating a player. Then I have delete mapping for deleting and also get mapping for listing. If binding result has a rows, I draw new validation exception binding result, which is this plus. Then it has the all a rows and post to custom exception, which is control addresses, etc. Right? And so that it shows their rows. Messages. My application properties, localhost, h2. So here I have 
my entity players uh, this is this column price as you see it is here price but since i used player and player detail so uh, i did also mapping and having player detail value instead of price so for example if i create first name is new player two it is so it is great i look at my players in h2 yes it's added here as well for instance put new dot dot also change yes as you see new ww if i delete id4 so id4 is built on that 